This can be a pretty depressing time of year. Less sunlight, cold temperatures, combined with the deprivation of the New Year diet plan, it can really bring you down. Today, registered dietitian Jane Dummer is here to help us beat those winter blues. Nancy, it's great to be back. And a recent study by the CDC, so the Center for Disease Control of the U.S., identified if we have healthier habits, we actually have less sad days and happier days. Okay. Yes. So healthier habits meaning exercise and eating better, I'm guessing. Yeah, so I've got a great process a three-tip process today that will help you develop really good healthy habits thinking small changes and moderation so okay. we don't want to get into the big resolutions and take on way too much at once right so what I like to talk about is do what you love so if people think exercise is a chore and it's you know a penance for doing things wrong right that's not the right attitude you want to do stuff that you love that you find fun last year we were talking about the skipping rope having a hula hoop it's a little tricky right now walking right. outside but go to a gym go to a um, a class with a, a friend at a local gym yeah. and just have a, a great time doing your fitness stuff. Yeah, okay. Then we want to make sure we're um, eating what we love to eat. So certainly um, being mindful of what we're eating. It takes 20 minutes for us to decide whether we're full or not. So if we're doing what I call dashboard dining, mm -hmm. not being mindful of what we're eating, we're not intentful, we're not giving it our attention, and it's really important to do that. They always say that, focus on the food, not on TV or That's right. and being sit, in a hurry. Sit at the table, sit with your family, sit with your friends, really be mindful of what you're eating. And the last one is make sure that you are eating foods that you love. So, you know, focus on all the healthy foods that you can have in your meal plan, such as slices of pizza, thin crust, veggie okay. toppings, and cocoa and chocolate. And that leads us into our great recipe that I have here today. Okay. This is brownies with a twist. <laughs> this, though, right? this is what I call cocoa lentil bars. Okay. And so it's, it's a modified form of a brownie, um, simply uh, that we're using lentils, we're using uh, semi sweet chocolate, and as well as cocoa. Okay. So you're going to have to convince <laughs> us that this is good. I don't this, know. <laughs> well, we, 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 it is. It's very delicious. Okay. So if you've never cooked with lentils before, what I suggest is getting the canned lentils. You've rinsed them. Okay. And an easy way to uh, mash them, or easy way to soften them, is just simply putting them into the pot and then putting them on a low heat for about five minutes because we don't have time in TV land to yeah. do that. Would you add water like, to cook so, them down a bit? Or? So actually, no. These are already mm -hmm. cooked. Okay. These are canned. And so you want to rinse off what's in the can, yeah. then put them in there. If you have dry lentils, what's really exciting about dry lentils, they're not like regular beans where you have to soak them. So you can actually cook them right Oh. from the dry. Okay. So, okay, we're going to give that five minutes, and okay. voila, here we are. We have the mashed lentils. So this okay. is about a cup of lentils, and so you just put them into the food processor. Uh, half a cup of olive oil. So these are all heart-healthy uh, things that we're okay. putting in. Is this in place of butter, I'm guessing? Yeah, so the, <laughs> so the olive oil, and then we're going to just crack two eggs and put that into the blender, and this is your, your, your wet ingredients that will be added to the dry ingredients. And so again, uh, we're not going to toss on the, um, on the food process just for time, right. but that will um, mix up your liquid ingredients. So this is what you end up so with. So if I, yeah, so that's that's the liquid ingredients, but if I could get you to toss in the uh, dry ingredients into this bowl here. Okay. Um, so if you want to start with the cup and a half of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Now we're talking. Yeah, okay. so that's got cocoa in it, and cocoa actually has a com compound called theobromide that helps boost your mood, and okay. so it helps energize your, your mind and your body. Okay. Okay. Those are oats, and so we've got two cups of oats. Oats have beta-glucan in them. That helps reduce your cholesterol. Again, another heart-healthy ingredient. Mm -hmm. um, here we have ground flaxseed. Oh, flaxseed wow. okay. has omega-3 as well as fiber, so good heart-healthy ingredient. Mm -hmm. um, then we have oat bran, and so that's the outside of the oatmeal. And again, more heart health <laughs> and more fiber. Buckwheat flour. Oh. And did you know buckwheat flour is not actually a grain? It's a fruit seed, and it's related to the rhubarb plant. Oh, wow. So you just okay. want to mix that up. And we can't forget the full tablespoon of unsweetened cocoa. So make sure okay. it's unsweetened. There's no added sugar into that cocoa. We just mix that all the dry ingredients up. And then we throw in this And lentil. then we would throw in the <laughs> lentil egg olive oil mix. And then mix that up. You can use the blender or the food processor at home just to okay. make that process Get a lot even. quicker Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So we've got this heart healthy, full of fiber, omega-3, 
excellent uh, compounds in the cocoa and the semi-sweet chocolate chips. The proof chips. is in the pudding. The proof Should is we taste? There. Please give it. Right. Give us. Let's give a try. Here, Jane. Just. So Get while I taste, strawberry. I'll let you know that you can find Jane's brownie recipe on our website, kitchener.ctvnews.ca. Mm. Thank you mm -hmm. so much, Nancy. What do you think? Mm. It's chocolatey. Yeah, you can taste the cocoa and the semi-sweet chocolate I don't chocolate taste chips. lentils. I taste chocolate. That's it's, good. Would you make these at I home? I would. That's good. Terrific. Mm. Yes. Thank you so much. We're going to take welcome. a break.